Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated economist here. Thought I'd talk briefly about the Federal Reserve. Um, a lot of talk coming from the Federal Reserve, especially these Federal Reserve presidents, talking about the recovery and that although it is slow, we are in a recovery in that we are probably see interest rates stay around zero for the next two or three years uh, until inflation gets up to around that 2% target even runs a little hotter before the inflation kicks or before the interest rates start um, rising to, to combat the inflation. This is pretty much the idea of the Federal Reserve is that things are going to run slowly. Interest rates will stay low. They'll try and provide credit to household and businesses to maintain the recovery. And that this is all based, this optimistic view of the recovery in the economy is all based on the idea that the government will pass another fiscal stimulus package. So the Federal Reserve has this grand optimistic view that we are in a recovery so long as the government goes deeper into debt. I, I shake my head at this when I hear it because, you know, I think about, I think about when I was in debt, heavily in debt. And when I ran out of money and I needed more money to pay bills or buy food or do whatever, trying to get available credit to try and get somebody to loan you money for that was very difficult. Okay. And the reason is, is that people don't want to loan you money if they don't think they're going to get paid back. And so you become a risk. Now, on the other end, it was very painful not getting the money. All right. You have to suffer without. You have to figure out other ways, maybe even, you know, sell something you like, you know, in order to acquire the money that you need in order to pay your bills and buy food or whatever. But when you do it that way, you don't have to pay back and you don't go deeper into debt. And if you maintain this life, eventually you can find yourself getting out of debt completely. But the problem is, is that the government and the people who are providing the ability for the government to do this don't see it that way. They don't see suffering through and paying off debt as a good thing. They find that to be painful and that it is much better for them and the government and the people and the economy to rob from the future by telling them that you need to go deeper into debt in order to... Keep the recovery going or else we're all going to fail. So steal from the future in order to provide from today. That is what they're saying. And I think about how it is that these Federal Reserve presidents and all their wisdom that they have and all this economic data that they come up with have absolutely no understanding of what it is that they are doing to the average person here. They're thinking, okay, well, if we maintain these mortgage-backed securities and keep the interest rates low, then people will be able to take out mortgages and be able to buy those houses. And if houses keep going up in price, then people will have this wealth effect and they'll be able to take the money out of, you know, the equity that they have in there. And this is going to be a grand thing for the economy. And meanwhile, the average person is just completely priced out of houses. They can't buy them. Good job. Thanks. Appreciate that. I'm looking at a house just outside of town. It's sitting on one acre. It is a dinky, like, practically manufactured home. It's not. It's stick-built. I mean, it's a framed house. But it is cheap. It's built by a company that, you know, slams these cookie-cutter houses out. It is a dinky home. This is what they would consider a starter home a long time ago. You know, 1,200 square feet, single level, very plain, sitting on an acre out in the middle of the country. And they want $389,000 for it. Now, in a lot of areas, that might seem cheap. Okay? But around here... $389,000 should be able to provide you with a really nice, decent home. And this is a starter home that's selling for close to 
people, the average worker is completely priced out. When an individual who is making an average wage signs a deal on a mortgage like that, they take away so much opportunity out of their life. They have to commit so much of their time and their effort and their energy into dumping into that house that they miss out on a lot of other opportunities within their life. These houses should not cost that much. And the reason that they are and the reason why people are so priced out is because of the artificially low interest rates that the Federal Reserve continues to maintain, causing these asset prices to bubble. And they find that to be a good thing. Now, don't get me wrong. If you own property, if you own stocks, if you are you know, somebody who has owned a lot of bonds and the Federal Reserve has caused your portfolios to go through the roof, because of all their low interest rates, money printing policies, and shoving debt out there to everybody to take. Congratulations on that. But you do realize the precarious situation that they have now put this country into. When these things are bubbled out, when these things reach these highs, when they reach an unachievable level, they will not stay there. And at some point, things will change. And even by the Federal Reserve's own statements that they plan on letting inflation run hot for the next couple of years and keep interest rates low, at some point, by that admit, by even stating that, they are saying that at some point in the future, interest rates will rise. And when those interest rates rise, you're going to find an environment that nobody is expecting or knows how to deal with. For the last 30, 40 years, interest rates have done nothing but continuously go down on a consistent basis the entire time. There were short little blips of interest rates rising, but very short and very infrequent. But when all this is over and the interest rates start to rise, because they will at some point, nobody is going to know how to deal with that environment. Nobody has ever been in that environment with continual increasing of interest rates. Nobody can even fathom that idea right now. In fact, it is so far out of people's imagination that they don't even think it's possible. And I think that's exactly where the Fed is wanting them. All right. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know.